Hey, right, what's going on guys? Beatboxblade Slash in here, and today I'm talking about Pokemon vs. Final Fantasy. With that being said, let's get started. Welcome to the fifth video game versus where I analyze the story, gameplay, quality, characters, and popularity to find out who will win. Today our contestants are Pokemon Emerald and Final Fantasy VII. Now let's start with story. Pokemon Emerald starts out with a man, specifically Professor Birch. This man is a Pokemon professor, here to determine your sex and the name of his grandson. Afterwards you are to set out on your quest to defeat the Pokemon League and a champion. Along your way, you must gather different Pokémon and train them to become your friend and strong animal slave. You will defeat many gym leaders while foiling the plans of Team Magma and Team Aqua. Final Fantasy VII, on the other hand, follows Cloud Strife, a mercenary who joins an eco-terrorist organization to stop the world-controlling megacorporation Shinra from using the planet's life essence as an energy source. Along his way, Cloud and his allies go in pursuit of Sephiroth, a superhuman intent on destroying the planet. That was story, now let's move to gameplay. <clears throat> Pokemon has always followed the turn-based formula, with attacks being able to miss, paralyze, poison, freeze, and burn. All attacks have different strengths and accuracy. Some have 100% accuracy, while some have 50. Only a few attacks can kill in one hit, being Fissure, Guillotine, Horn Drill, Sheer Cold, and Parish Song. All their accuracy is really low. In the overworld, it's really straightforward. Just go up, down, left, or right. You can go faster with the running shoes or the bike. Final Fantasy does pretty much the same thing. It's turn-based and you can get items to enhance your attacks. I appreciate Final Fantasy doesn't have the dumb mechanic of where you walk in front of somebody and they're like, hey, I wasn't doing anything, but seeing your stupid face makes me want to force my pet to fight yours. Now, quality is a tricky topic because of the years between the games, so I'll do my best. Even though Emerald was on the Game Boy, it didn't fail to deliver with its 16-bit graphics and it didn't have any outstanding glitches. Final Fantasy only has one glitch that's a bit much. It's called the Regen Glitch. If you open the disc tray and use the spell, the game will stop and your health will go up with no repercussions. Now, let's enter the last two categories, being characters and popularity. Now, Pokemon isn't very strong in this category because Pokemon has yourself, your rival, the professor, and Steven. That's really about it. While Final Fantasy has characters that are so crazy you're forced to remember them. Like Sephiroth, for example, or Cloud, a young guy who wields a sword that's bigger than him. Or the character I remember and miss being Aerith. It's so tough to talk about her. So let's move to the last category. Popularity. Pokemon is known worldwide, while Final Fantasy isn't as popular. Pokemon Emerald after inflation made 256 million, while Final Fantasy 7 after inflation made 61 million dollars. That's all our categories, now for the final results. Can I get a drum roll, please? The winner is... Yes, that's right, the winner is Pokemon Emerald. The story of you going from zero to hero is unforgettable. The gameplay is slow, yes, but it feels intense as you strategize. Even though it's 16-bit, Emerald doesn't give up on its quality. I don't really have anything to say about its characters, but its popularity is through the roof. Our winner is Pokemon Emerald. This has been Beatbox Boy, you think about the box. Remember to like, like, like comment, 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 and subscribe. and subscribe. As well as share with your friends if you feel like it, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. So for now, have a good one. Stay out from your two ear, let it be.